give you glory for all you brought me through and now I'm ready for whatever you want to do I'm moving forward to follow after you and now I'm ready for whatever you want to do your presence is an open door so come now Lord like never before your presence is an open door so come now Lord like never before I know breakthrough is coming by faith I see a miracle my God make me a promise and you won't stop now hey, hey. I know breakthrough is coming is an open door so come now Lord like never before your presence is an open door so come now Lord like never before hey guys Guys, my name is Jaquila and a very warm welcome to TCU. If you're new here, we are so excited to have you part of our family. We're gonna go through some announcements, so make sure you stay put to know how to get plugged in. First announcement, we've got Friday Fuel happening every Friday, every week at 8 p.m. Friday Fuels are where we can play games, hang out, watch movies, or even do Instagram Live. So make sure you follow our Instagram at thecollective.youth and hope to see you at Friday Fuel this Friday. Next, we've got online Evos. Online devotionals are a way that we can study about the Bible, hang out, or just update each other on what's going on in our lives. So for more information, contact your tribe leaders. But if you're not in a tribe yet, then make sure you tell us in our YouTube link or Zoom link, or you can even tell us in the DMs in our Instagram. And for the last announcement, we have these TC services happening every week, same time, same link. Also, Hang out with us after service so we can play games, hang out, and just chill. That's it for the announcements. Let's get back to the sermon. What is up, TC Youth? And guess what? Today we are kicking off a brand new series called The Upside Down Kingdom. Now, I don't know what to do for Upside Down. But look, today... As we go through the series, we're going to be going through what it looks like to have power. When Jesus came to this world, he brought a different kingdom that wasn't a kingdom to destroy people, but a kingdom to love and build people up, okay? So with that said, let's jump into some prayer first, and then we'll kick this off. So Jesus, I pray as we learn about power in your kingdom, who you are, and, and why it's so important that when we learn who you are and the power you brought, it's important for our daily life and how we receive and, and work and do things through power. So God, we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. One question I want to ask you guys is, when was the last time that you felt like you had power? Or maybe this, remember the first time you ever had power. You know, I remember for me, one of the first times I ever felt like I had power was when I was in high school. What had happened was, is me and my friends, we started this club. And in this club, you know, I had this moment where I had to go help uh, promote the club. 
And so uh, what I would do is as I would promote the club, I would walk around with like a, this big stereo boom box on my shoulders and I wore these short shorts and high socks and I'll go around inviting people to the club and people were like, whoa, this guy's so weird. This guy's so random, super cool. I'm going to come to this club. And as I promoted the club, it made me feel powerful because I felt like, wow, I'm really inviting these people to be part of something big and awesome that I believe in. That's one moment that I felt powerful. Another moment I felt powerful is a moment that I had to share my testimony. It was the first time I ever preached or shared before in my life. I was super nervous. I was shaky. I had the script in front of my face and I was like reading it like this. And I remember as I did that, I, I remember at the end of it, I felt good. I felt powerful. I felt like, wow, I did this. Those were good moments that I felt power. Other moments I felt power were moments that I remember I had to step into being a, the youth uh, or like a kid's leader at a camp. And I remember as I was a kid's leader at a camp, you know, when you deal with little kids, whether you have siblings or friends that have little kids, they can be a little annoying sometimes, right? And I remember there was this little kid that was being annoying, he's being mean. And out of my emotional immaturity, and I didn't like this kid, I decided to lash out at him. And I was like, you're being annoying. Stop it. Go sit over there. He started crying. He told the cam counselors. He was like, I don't want to be around this leader anymore. Lesson learned. Don't be mean to kids because they're going to tell adults and you'll get in trouble. But it was a moment of power from where I used it and I felt good. And I also had power where in that moment, it wasn't good and I didn't use it for good. So how many of you guys know that all of us have a different idea of power? All of us have felt power or maybe been in a moment where we felt powerful, maybe because of a group project, maybe because you guys are working together with a group of people, friends, you want to start something. And all of us have a different view and perspective of power. We all have a different perspective of power. Now, when it comes to power, some of us, or how many of you guys know that when it comes to power, uh, we have complicated feelings because we have seen people in authority use power in the wrong way. We have also felt the weight of power knowing that if I use this the wrong way, I could hurt someone or someone could get hurt. It could change people's view of me. Uh, if I use it in the right way, you know, it could be hard to hold on to later. Uh, it's almost like the question, you know, how do you make sure that you maintain good morality when you have power, right? Because sometimes we'll look at people like power and think, man, if I was in power, I would never be like them. But the reality is that power can corrupt people over time and we could become like them. So how can we make sure we hold on to morality and, and lawfulness and goodness when we have power, when we get into a place of power? How do we make sure of that? And so what I want to do is I want to walk us through a chapter here in the Bible. And, and it's this portion here where these people are asking Jesus, well, Jesus, what's the most important commandments? What's the most important things that we should do as people? Well, actually, what I want to walk us through here in the Bible is just a couple verses from Genesis marking when Jesus or when God first made us in the beginning of the world. And then we're going to go later through how Jesus as a person, how he showed his authority. So I want to walk us here in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. And this is, now the word Genesis means origin. So in the origin stories of when God made people, it, we're going to talk about how God made us in his image, but there's importance there. So check this out. This is Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. It says, Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, over all the creatures that move along the ground. So let's pause. Let's think about that. God made us in his image. That is powerful. That's, that's beautiful. That's incredible. But let's, let's think about this. The God that made the stars in the sky, as he breathed, mountains were formed. As he spoke, literally the oceans were made. Now, when we're made in that image, it shows that somehow we're also made in this powerful image. That means that we're powerful. And because we're powerful, God put us in authority over, what was it? It says over uh, they may rule over the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, the livestock, and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. God gave us power and authority as we came into this world to rule over things. Now, 
as he gave us that, I don't think God gave us those things so we would have the power and authority to destroy those things. I think God gave us power and authority to what? To care for these things, to, to nurture and attend to these things. Now let's fast forward to Matthew chapter 28, and this is in verse 18. And this is where Jesus, as he's about to go up into heaven, he tells his disciples this. He says this, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So what Jesus is modeling here is he's saying, hey, I, the same authority that God had in the beginning of the world that he bestowed on us as people, I have that same authority in heaven and on earth, but I'm putting this on you to what? To make disciples, to make a change, to be part of something big. Now, see, when Jesus came here, he didn't come here to say, well, you know, I'm going to bring my kingdom and I have all authority and power on heaven and earth. So I'm going to destroy people and make them bow down to me and make them suffer. That's not God's heart. That's not Jesus' heart. And so often when we see people in power, that is their heart. People in power's heart is to make people suffer and hurt and feel like they want you to feel like how they felt in the past. But Jesus came to bring a upside down kingdom of power an upside down kingdom of thoughtfulness, an upside down kingdom of love and peace and prosperity. That's the kingdom that Jesus wants to bring. In fact, that's when power is perfect, that, or when power is like that, that is when power is perfect. That is perfect power. And Jesus came to bring an example of that. So no matter what your example or experience of people in power are, or people in, of authority are, we have to look at Jesus and the example that Jesus brought and said, okay, even though people might be human, they might fail, Jesus in the power that he brings and the kingdom he brings, that, that's a perfect example of power. And that's the example I want to follow. That's what it's supposed to look like. So I'm, I want to break down just a couple of application points for us today, just to rethink power, because we're going to break down power for these next couple of weeks, okay? So here we go. When it comes to power, I want you to rethink this. Rethink the way that you approach authority and rethink the way that you approach Jesus. Okay, so number one, when it comes to approaching uh, just this idea of power, number one, rethink about how you think about Jesus. Rethink Jesus. When we look at Jesus, he wasn't someone that came to destroy the world, make people bow down to him. You have to give your life to Jesus or you're going to hell. Bow down right now. Rethink Jesus. Jesus came to bring gentleness, peace, love, security, hope. So rethink how you think of Jesus. It's going to be important for later. So rethink Jesus. Second thing, rethink how you use the power that you've had. How have you used power in the past? And now think, how can you reuse power in the future? Rethink how you've used power. And the third thing is this, rethink the authority figures in your life. When you look at people that you think, oh, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, those guys are powerful. I want to use power like them. Look at President Trump, President Biden. You want to look at all these influencers, BTS, Blackpink, all these stuff. These people are powerful and we look at them, but when we look at their power, how do you, how do you reflect on it? How do you see it? Rethink the authority figures in your life. When you see that power, how they use it, is it for good? Is it incredible? Is it perfect power? Or is it imperfect, immature power? It's used for self. So with that said, we are going to choose to rethink how we Think about power and authority over these next few weeks when you lock in. And remember, we're going to rethink about this through the lens of Jesus. How did Jesus think of power and use power? So we love you guys. We're going to break this down some more in the next couple of weeks. Make sure you jump into our tribes in, uh, in Kumo Space, all that stuff. And let's close in some prayer. Jesus, I want to pray for everyone that tuned in right now that we would begin to rethink what power looked like through the lens of Jesus. Jesus had all authority in heaven and on earth to do whatever he wanted, but he did it to love and serve people. So I pray that we would do that too. So God, I pray that uh, we would learn from that in Jesus' name, amen. So guys, we are about to jump into our tribes. Go check out the Zoom link below. Jump in from there. And it, it, that's where you're gonna get all the information that you need. So love you guys, and we'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Bye everybody.